first theater that was built in Nairobi. Anybody know where that was? No, earlier, 1913. Before the First World War, Nairobi had a fully equipped theater, the Royal, the Theater Royale on Delamere Avenue. Delamere Avenue is your current Kenyatta Avenue. It seated 350 and the building still exists. Anybody know what building that is on Kenyatta Avenue that might have been a theater? Cameo. Well done. Yes. The Kenya National Theater was open on November 6, 1952. And isn't it interesting that they didn't even celebrate that last year, their own 50th or 60th anniversary. But anyway, this is the nature of theater in Kenya. <laughs> um, initiatives like this one, they show us the way. They show us that it is possible to do a lot. There is a recognition that culture is dynamic and can now include Diwali, Ramadan, Sheng, Kiswahili, English, as we tell our modern stories. Seno has been sitting at the bar since 5 p.m., which is 9. He's drunk, he's been dozing. Suddenly, he begins to smile. <laughs> <laughs> You have these amazing languages which are layered with storytelling. Luo, for instance. God, if I will speak to Luo. How many times have I said this? I'm looking for a teacher. Um, you know, uh, people from the coast, they have musical traditions, the dancing that comes from everywhere. But we tend to believe the politicians who tell us that our tribes are a problem. They're not. They're actually, the fact that we have 42 of them is too delicious for words. <laughs> 